Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to The Greatest Show on Earth. That is the show that's on in the afternoon. I am joined today with the very glamorous and incredible world-famous uh, co-host of the stars here. We've got uh, Amanda Arnett Edwards in studio. Thank you so much hey, for being here. Baby. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here today. Yeah, so we've got a horse play kind of day today. Talking about equestrian therapy, talking about some veteran services. Of course, we've got Katie Kamek Eller in studio talking about horseplay. We got some new babies in in uh, in the what in, in the organization. Am I saying that right? Well, we have some new horses. Yes, we do. Very exciting. Very exciting. We'll get into that just after we give thanks and praise to these people that make this show possible, like Bozard Ford Lincoln. Bozard Ford Lincoln have kicked off their 76 years serving St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. For three generations, their team and dealership have grown to meet the needs of this incredible community. The Bozard campus is located at I-95 and State Road 16. They have an incredible inventory of Ford and Lincoln, along with great selections of pre-owned vehicles of all makes and models in the area. They have the state-of-the-art service department. They have a quick lane for express service and parts and accessories shops that can take care of all of your needs during the time you own your vehicle. And no visit to Bozart is complete without a stop at Ford's Garage and enjoy one of those signature burgers. From delivery of your new car in your own driveway to mobile service of your fleet of company vehicles or anything in between, the incredible team of Bozart Ford Lincoln is ready to meet your needs in a way that is designed exclusively for you. Come let their family take care of your family. They're Bozart Ford Lincoln and they are driven to inspire. Speaking about inspiring, the Bailey Group, hey, life can change in an instant. Make sure your health coverage keeps up. After a major life event, you may qualify for new health plan or be able to switch plans as low as zero bucks a month. That's really amazing. So just make sure you're checking in with your agents. So what are you waiting for? Call the Bailey Group and see if you qualify for low uh, interest or low plans that start with a free quote and just to see in under a minute. In St. Augustine's heart, the Bailey Group plays its part, a cherished institution, a gem from the start. Mark, as president, took the reins at a trusted relay, transformed the agency into a force of St. Augustine display. More than insurance benefits and financial grace, the Bailey Group innovates, serving every single place. Give them a call, call 904-461-1800. And of course, our friends at the Lace Med Spa, looking for bliss and refresh that glowing face, will come to a lace. That's your ultimate grace. Once Amara, now a lace, they're simply the best for relaxation and beauty. Let's plan a date. From facials that make your skin gleam to Botox and fillers, they're like the dream on the scene. With lasers so smooth, they zap trouble spots away. Their expert teams make sure that you have the very best day. A lace is the place to refresh and renew your face. Thank goodness. With top-notch tech and treatments just for you, step in their doors, feeling stress disappear in a spa, inviting you'll be filled with cheer. Check them out, alace.com. Go to their Instagram to win those Luke Bryan tickets out in Tampa. That's going to be an amazing show. Mm -hmm. We love them over there. We love Alace Med Spa. Go see Tracy or Allison. I highly recommend. And say my name, say my name, baby. $100 off your first service. That's going to be an amazing opportunity for anybody out there that wants to take beauty on your terms, boo. I'm excited. I'm going to give them a try here in a week or so, and I can't wait. And I'm hoping, hey, why not win those Luke Bryan tickets? Oh, I know. Yes. It's going to be so good. Yeah, you have to do the good. It's like one of those, like, you share the post and you tag a friend thing moment. But, yeah, jump on that because if nobody Absolutely. else is jumping on it, you could be the winner of that. Yes. That's right. Speaking of winners, we've got an extraordinary guest in studio. You know her very well, right? I do. One of my good friends, Katie, is here from yes. Horseplay. Hi, friends. Hi. Hi. Katie, how is horseplay going? How's everything? How are the horses? Give they, us the latest. They are great. Well, um, for those that don't know, Amanda is actually part of the horseplay team as well. So I have it, no idea. So it is so fun. That. So it was a serendipitous little thing that the three of us were together. So I love that. Um, this feels like yeah. you know just getting coffee with friends. I know. So this good. is a great, awesome thing. So <laughs> the barn is good. Yeah. Um, so. Tell us a little those... bit about horseplay in case there's anybody out there like, oh, yeah. what is this all about? Yeah. Is it wrestling with horses? What is yeah. what is horseplay all about? <laughs> Some so, days. Yeah. So, you know, Depends you on know. the patient. So horseplay therapy uh, center is a 
3C nonprofit in town. And what we do is we do physical, occupational, and speech therapy for kids with special needs oh, wow. in one branch. And then our other branch does mental health therapy for veterans as well as their families. So incorporating family and medical. Well, licensed the, and medical, sorry. No, you're good. Um, marriage therapy as well. Re- so, marriage therapy? Mar- you can't just yeah, skate over that. Counseling. Yeah, so marriage counseling, family therapy, and then mental health therapy in that corner. Did it always start with kids first and then it kind of it branched? Did. So okay. it started, yeah. And so what kind of makes us different than any other clinic is we incorporate horses in our care. So the horses are used for their movements and then also the communicative um, efforts we use as well. Mm. So it started with the kids. So we were seeing kids on horses. It was amazing. They have amazing benefits. And we started noticing all of these parents in the barn. And then we found out the common denominator was a lot of them were veteran parents. Really? And then it kind of spiraled from there, you know, like let's give these veteran parents some support. And that's kind of how it Rise Up for Veterans, our secondary program, came to be. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of, we've always taken things from a family approach, and that's kind of how that came to be. So, Amanda, how did you get involved? How did you find out about horseplay? I have always had a passion for horses, and hippotherapy is what it's called. Mm-hmm. Uh, horseplay, oh. what we're doing, which is funny because when you say hippotherapy. I think hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Well, thank mm-hmm. hippopotamus. Yeah, but it comes from Latin, right? The it's, Latin it's word, Greek word, for Greek horse. word mm-hmm. for horse. Oh, I know Greek. So, uh, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Because there's a difference between hippotherapy and then therapeutic riding. Mm-hmm. And there's been a couple of therapeutic riding facilities around our county. Which are fabulous. Which are fabulous. But they're different. But yeah. they are different. Mm. Yeah. So this is very specific and you, you know, you've got to have a team of licensed therapists that are treating the patients to meet their developmental milestones, whatever those may be. Um, but I'm a nerd. I'm a goal setter. I have a goal board and I have had hippotherapy on my goal board for like 20 years. Really? So before I did um, real estate, I was a therapist and I actually came to Vicki a couple of times, but I couldn't ever make the commitment to serve there regularly. And now I have been there for almost, gosh, it's four and a half four, years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys, know, this is yeah. awesome. I know. Yeah. So, so I'm a half timer, so but I show up for anything important. They can call me for random stuff. She's much more Mucking than a half timer. S- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Mucking laughs> stalls, like treating patients, whatever it is. But I tell you what, I love going there because it really fills my cup. Mm. And I think the volunteers are a huge part of what makes it so special. We've got therapists. We've got a lot of people that are medical professional that are retired. Um, A couple of our therapists are in their 80s, aren't they, Katie? They are. And they walk circles. Some of our volunteers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm at a desk most of the day. I live on a farm too, but I'm at a desk and that heat will kick my booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These volunteers are out there sweating through multiple sets of clothes and wow. coming back. And it's just amazing. But they bring an energy and you're big on energy yes, too. Yes, I am. Yes. I mean, it is just uplifting when you're there. The kids are fun. The horses are great. Oh, we mm-hmm. should update them on Lizzie. Lizzie yeah, yeah. is our only mare in the barn. So what she's, happened? Yeah. Yeah. She's queen bee. Yeah. She's a queen bee. Yeah. A mare is a, the word for girl horse. Okay. Way, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, she had an injury in late December of last year. Oh no. And she's been down on stall rest for months, but she is back. She's back. How at did it. she take the injury at first? Was she like busted because she couldn't be out and doing the things that she normally yeah, does? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. she got better. And okay. then now, now that she knows she's better, she is like, okay, I want to go. Oh, but good. I, know, I love that. But, but, like her spirit is there and she's back. And the kids are so excited to have her back because each of our horse kind of have their own following. And it's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, there's kids that love Brave and kids that love Lizzie and, you know, it's things like that. So is Lizzie is a, like a more gentle spirit uh, versus Brave? Like what, what's their um, personality? She's, she's actually kind of a spitfire. She's a little uh-huh. sassy and fun. <laughs> okay. um, and she's totally safe, but like, you know, she's got a little bit more personality and she moves more actually. energy. She, she moves a lot faster than everybody. So she's a really, really fun. She's also tiny and petite and cute. She's okay. Pony, okay. So, okay. Uh, I love she that. She has that energy, but in it, the big hair. Yeah. But I mean, oh, Really? A huge shout out to um, Chelsea and everybody on our equine staff and our donors and everybody who has supported us through this journey because, you know, horse injuries are long and expensive and they take a toll on, you know, our 
whole organization as a whole. So we are she so stand thankful up? that she's back. Yeah, she could stand. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. okay. But, so I didn't but know now like... she can move and work and you okay. know continue working for us. So that's, that's fantastic. Great. Yeah. That's so good. So you've got a new baby, oh, a new pony so at the cute. park. Oh, he's so cute, Mr. Miko. Really? He's so cute. Um, oh, I was looking for his phone. He is <laughs> there a he is. rescued Arabian. He is um, absolutely adorable. He really rounds out our team. He has been such a fun addition to our kids' barn, and I can't wait for the kids to really get to know him a little bit more. How do you vet? How do you guys vet a, a therapy course? Like, how does what's the process like? Oh, it, that's fun. I it, can it, chime yeah, in on that. You go ahead. You're the so horse girl. A lot of uh, the horses have to have um, a personality that is forgiving. Mm. They can't be a horse that is so sensitive that they're going to take on I'm one out. of the patients. Couldn't be a horse. No, nope. you, you nope. wouldn't pass. Nope. You would not pass. Scorpio, right here. Um, they can't take on, they need to be able to just kind of um, roll with it. So okay. if a kid is really agitated that day, they can't be bothered by it. But then they also have to have a certain movement to them. Mm. It, there's a science behind matching up the horse with the patient. So depending on the kid's diagnosis, we want to make sure that the horse has the correct rhythm. We also need a horse that is what we call sound or healthy. Mm. That means free and clear from all yep. diseases or any kind of lameness issue where their walk would be affected. Um, we are very particular at horse play about taking care of our horses. And We've health. got massage therapists that come in. These horses awesome. get spoiled. They, um, they are well loved and taken care of. But yeah, there's a huge process to it. So we go and we meet the horse in person. Chelsea is our barn manager. She's phenomenal. There's um, a series of meetings. And then we usually try the horse for mm. about 30 days. And when you try a horse, it means you get to bring them to your barn, put them in the program and see how they work. Now, is it genetic or is it more of an organic? Is it a learned behavior for them? It's to kind of really a personality thing when it comes it. to mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, we don't pick horses based on certain breeds or anything like that because the other thing is, as Amanda mentioned, there's this science about the horse's movement and matching it to the client. All of our clients are different. So we mm -hmm. need a wide variety of horses. So we yeah. can't have all the same breed because then they would all move the same. You know, so yeah, we yeah, want yeah. a variety in our herd. So are there that's like really important. Crazy weight limitations on some horses, like how much yeah, they oh, can yeah, take? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And generally, we don't put kids on our horses over 140 pounds. Okay. Um, Makes and, sense. I mean, yeah. yeah. You know, and, that, and that's. Also safety for the safety reason. of the horse, but also the safety of the therapist, mm -hmm. you know. Right. If there is ever an emergency situation, which is rare, but, you know, they're mm -hmm. animals, the therapist needs to be able to safely carry them. How the long horse. of a process mm -hmm. does it take for a kid to be able to actually get on a horse? Is there like a whole lead up to it? So each kid comes in and they have an initial evaluation, just like they would have at any other clinic. Um, and that's where somebody like me, who's a therapist, goes through a round of assessments that says, okay, this is kind of what we're looking at. These are our goals. This is what we're going to look at. This is why the horse is a good tool for you. No, it's not a great tool for everybody. That okay. is a clinical decision. And then, and this is what we're going to do. The next session they come, that's usually day one on the horse. Really? And usually getting on the horse doesn't take long. It's kind of one of those things you say, we're going to do this and we're going to be brave and you can do hard things and let's get on the horse. I love you uh, can do hard things. That that's a t-shirt. Yeah, I love it. Kinda, yeah, anybody who's seen me at the bar knows I say that far too much. Yeah. I, but that's a um, great yeah, saying. Yeah, but, I love it. But we, you know, we kind of get on the horse and then we get going and you know, most kids within a few minutes, it's kind of like being on a swing for the first time. It feels kind of funny, but then once you're in it, yeah. it feels great. Yeah. You know? So it usually doesn't take long to regulate. Talk about the magic that you've seen mm. over the years. Mm. You know, have you have like one specific story in your head you're like you you completely saw how the horse changed the paradigm of the kid's life absolutely i have a patient that i've been treating um for probably three years and he really had a low chance of walking um he came in and he was very fear fearful of the horse he had no confidence every little thing startled him um and now he is just he's bloomed is what wow. i say he is confident i wish i would have throwing some pictures up for you guys, but he will stand on the horse. Uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. he's standing on one leg. He wants to show me his tricks. His family is just glowing with excitement. Um, but I feel like it really gave birth to a whole new level of, I can do this. And he has just pushed himself. So now he can take eight to 10 steps with no assistive device. That sounds very clinical. No, but I love um, that. I know what that meant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so no walker, no, walker, no, no crutches, cool. yeah. eight to 10 steps. Whereas before they thought maybe he would be wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. So 
it's fantastic. The big difference too is the carryover, right? Mm -hmm. If you've got a family that's committed to doing their home exercise program, your chance for success is just far succeed, so far um, exceeds that patient whose family is not committed to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then it sprouts to veterans. I mean, I can see with PTSD, like this is an amazing moment to connect. Talk about that program. Yeah, so that program is a mental health program. So it's with licensed mental health therapists and it's not only for the veteran, but it can also be marriage therapy or with their families as well. Okay. Um, so we have a couple that bring out their kids and things like that. Um, we have been so wonderfully supported in that program. But it's not at the barn, right? You don't you do this in We Hastings? have a separate facility okay. mm-hmm, with five different horses there. And those horses are apt to carry adults and things like that. And okay. they're trained differently, you okay. know, um, and they're trained for a different job because they are different jobs. Was it important to move it out of the barn as opposed to, was it just, is it a more serene environment? Well, one thing is the barn on 207 where we see kids it's, it's very busy, you know, we, yeah. it, it's very busy. And part of PTSD is triggers. And, you know, like, while we love our kids and we're squealing and having fun and things like that, that could be yeah. triggering. Uh, the other thing is 207 is a busy road. Like it's, you know, it's busy, it's loud. So yeah, yeah. it's distracting. So this facility, our other facility is very quiet. Yeah. It, even just driving there, I'm just like, oh, this is great. Peaceful. I am so yeah. peaceful. Um, so it's wonderful having it out there. And then we're able to see more people. Because, you know, we have more availability. The yeah. horses are tailored to them. So, so on I got to so ask you, put your real estate hat on. I mean, like with all this development that's happening and all the craziness, are you concerned with, you know, with the big boom out there out in Hastings that this would affect some of the barn uh, at all out there? Would, are, you, is, are you guys protective of that? We are protective of that. Yeah. So in one sense, I think that it's a good thing because more folks will know that we are there. So mm-hmm. part of what um, Katie is working on is just, getting the word out to folks because we feel like we could serve more people if they did, you know, know more of what we were doing. Oh, good. Um, on the other hand, you know, there's traffic that comes with it, but where our barn sits is really off of the road. Yeah. Nice. So to it's know. not going to be. Impacted. Yeah. It, it's okay. not, yeah. It's very. That's good to yeah. know though, yeah. because and I worry tucked. about that. It's yeah. Tucked, yeah. 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 I don't worry about it, but we are so excited because when I saw you last, we were talking about the hometown heroes ride and with their support, we've been able to expand our program because they give us grant support and funding. That's for right. scholarship. So now we can see first responders. So first responders and their families that need that. help with PTSD mm-hmm. are able to come to our program. Did you as well. see that yeah. hometown heroes ride? Oh, I did. It was incredible. Oh, you guys, incredible. It is, I have chills thinking about that right I, now. I mean, yeah. I, if you, are not a motors. I'm not. Motor, is it motorcyclist? You're not Motor a biker. Like, Wait, oh, you're not no. biker. You biker are somewhere. Sunday <laughs> school. I see I mean, you biker. I mean, just I'm on a bike that goes nowhere. You will, you will leave with chills. It I'm is telling so you. Cool. And leather chaps if you're Davey. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, yeah. I would. So yes, cool. ma'am. So all these people come together for this common cause. Um, I think that event will be in April next year. Mm-hmm. Um, so special. But I will let everybody know the dates as soon as I do, but it is a very special event and yeah. I highly, highly recommend. Um, but it's been able to enable us to see first responders. Mm-hmm. So if there's any first responders or veterans out there, please get in touch with us. We would love to help you. I love yeah. that. And, and obviously there's a big boom with Veterans Village and there's yeah. a lot mm-hmm. of great veterans resources. Mm-hmm. We need them. We need more yeah. of them. And I'm I'm proud to see our community rally around vets. And, yeah, and, me too. Yeah. Instead of just saying like, thank you for your service, actually contributing in some physical way yeah. Yeah. is so great. But like the bikers, my favorite thing of that is they look so rough and tough, but yet they've got such big a hearts. heart. Big hearts. I mean, it, it is the most heartwarming It event. is amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That is yeah. cool. So you have a lot of um, support organizations out yeah. there. I think you were talking to me about JSL. Like talk about like what, what everybody does. Yeah. Well, we were talking off air. There are so many amazing nonprofits in this town that mm-hmm. just want to support each other. Um, and there's two really important events coming up that I'd like to highlight because these are groups that have supported the barn over the years several times. Mm. Um, so first is the Junior Service League. They have their annual gala coming yes. up on October 11th at Fountain of Youth. Um, this year it's Enchanted Evening theme. So, so it's like very whimsical, um, like foresty kind of vibe. It's very cute. I could so picture your outfit yeah. now. Oh, I know. from Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready yeah, with yeah. a little bit of yeah. wing. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tuba well, chapstick. I pick, yeah. Like I picture very like. Taylor Swift, like, yeah. like lover era. Oh, I love um, that. Yeah, so yeah. I, that's kind of what I picture with it. Um, and then the Coons Family Foundation, they're having a chip in for veterans event oh. at Top Golf. Cool. Yeah, so that's on October 13th. So same weekend, but two great events and two, two great or- events. Amazing organizations to support that enter in 
turn around and then support us. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And other local nonprofits. That's so, awesome. Now, yeah. do they support like the kids section only, or do they, or do, or the funds? Are they restricted funds, or they can go? Sometimes anywhere? it's it kind of depends on the group and the grant. You know, okay, you yeah. know, um, like the Coons Family Foundation, they have a big heart for veterans, so they want things to go towards veterans. Love and that. that, and we love that. You know, yeah. like, and we, you know, as a nonprofit that serves multiple sectors of our community, mm. like we are totally appreciative of like wanting to know where we can serve you. Mm -hmm. Your money can serve our community where, where your heart is, you know. One of the things that we t sort of lightly touched on was the marriage counseling aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about like some success stories and what does a oh, horse provide? Oh, yeah. So horses are so communicative. Okay. Um, you know, they, they must look at me like I'm a lunatic. Then. Yeah, I mean, no, like, <laughs> you know, they, they do so many things to let you know that they're listening and responding and things like that. And when you can work with a horse and do things to communicate with them, then it gives you a little bit more insight at the things you can do to communicate with your spouse. Oh, I love that. So, you know, okay. so we're doing yeah. some um, equestrian like activities, you know, they are equestrian activities, but they're used in a different angle, okay. you know, to help work on communication, help work on, you know, making boundaries and things like that. So then you can kind of build these things back into your life, day to day life, kind wow. of like is that parallel bridge. I like that. Mm -hmm. What so did if you, you feel like you're married to a donkey? And you want to yeah. work, you know, yeah. on your merits. Okay. Then you can okay. come and yeah. play with the horses. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen this firsthand? Have you seen some success of, of, with this? I stay really in the horse play barn, so I yeah. haven't got to experience it. Um, but just from having horses on my own. And you know and, the cadence, yeah. Yeah, and it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When There's a you, connection. When you are feeling uh, challenged in life. Mm -hmm. What can a horse provide you personally in your professional life? Like what, what, what things have you picked up over the years that horses have given you? Well, it depends on your, um, I think your relationship with the horse, but sometimes they're like, whoa, chick, you need to calm down. Okay. Um, and they really remind you to slow down and to take a breath. Um, they'll feel you rather you're walking up to them mm. and you're grabbing them by the lead rope, mm. which is the thing to lead them around like the leash or you're sitting on their back and you're in the saddle. They feel how tense you are. So I think it's a visual for you. It's like um, biofeedback, mm -hmm. how to put mm -hmm. that, like, but yeah. you're getting a visual immediately. Um, but they, they, I've read an article where they can sync their heart they can sink, they, from 20 feet away. They can hear mm -hmm. yours. And also another interesting horse fact, they're the only mammals that can stop their labor during delivery so what? yeah i know they are really special that's like yeah. fierce kegels like i'm serious like and, I just <laughs> and they do really cool things like something called entertainment where like if you're walking they will match their cadence with your you know like things uh -huh. they really want to be connected with it's you. the rhythm yeah, i it's feel like rhythm. that yeah. yeah sometimes yeah. step on yeah. your heel if it, they've had enough of you they can take that hoof and not even look and they're like mm. You're going down. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> and we, we did some training. Do they know that they have the upper hand ultimately? Do horses know? I don't know. They don't. It depends They're, on the horse. I yeah. think that they really uh, like to have a herd leader mm -hmm. and they look for you for guidance. Yeah. So it depends on your relationship though. There are some dominant horses. Mares, which are the female horses, have more of a reputation of being... Um, difficult or like boss mare is what you I call it. I like it. Yes. I, you would yeah. like it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but no, they are very respectful. Yeah. Our horses are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So favorite wonderful. horse movie. Do you have a favorite oh. horse movie out there? I know I'm taking well, right off script, of course. Oh. But what's a good horse, horse movie? movie? I like the kids show Spirit. Oh, I yeah. Think that yeah, is such a was, cute little cartoon. That was the first one that came to mind, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Spirit. I think that one, like, yeah. demonstrates the relationship a lot. That's so, good. Right? Yeah. So tell us, how can the community support? Where can people rally? What can yeah. we do to make horseplay even more fabulous? I mean... There are so many ways, to, you know, whether it's sponsoring, you know, going to those two events or we do have a fun event coming up. Mm. Um, it's actually family Christmas card photos at okay. the bar. Yeah. So it'll be in November um, 10th and 11th and or 9th and 10th in the evening. So okay. during that golden hour. And basically we'll have a setup in our gorgeous pasture for families to get their Christmas card photos taken. During the golden hour, you're meaning sunset? Yeah, like yes. sunset. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, and we'll get those edited and out to you and you can use them for your Christmas card photos. I mean... 
That's what, great. What a great opportunity. You get your Christmas cards. You supported us. Yeah. And like, you know, it only took like maybe a half hour of your time. That's you know, fabulous. Like, yeah, so that's going to be a really fun way to support us coming up soon. We have a lot of really fun and new fresh events coming in 2025. Oh, exciting. Are, yeah, so we'll be Any teasers soon. there? Oh, not yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> um, I'm always in it. I'm okay. always trying to get it in there. But, you know, no matter what it is, whether it's your time and you come out and volunteer mm -hmm. or your money and you come and donate, whatever it is, we would love to see you. Yeah. You know, like even if you're just coming, you just shoot me an email and you're like, I want to know more about your program so I can tell my neighbor who has a son mm -hmm. with autism. I would love to connect with you. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, you know, anything like that. You what know? about vets out there? You did say earlier that you were looking for more vets. You want to connect with more vets. Yeah. If you're a veteran and you're looking to, you know, help, her, you know, get help. We want to help you. Yeah. Just reach out. I know that sometimes that that is the biggest barrier, but, you know, reach out and we will meet you where you're at and kind of go from there. What about cost? I'm always scared about cost. I'm always scared about cost. this sounds expensive. All right. So are you talking about the kids program? Anything or at yeah, this yeah. point. Yeah. So the, the kids program, we do accept insurance. Awesome. Um, so that cost will kind of vary. You know, obviously what your plan yeah, is, go to the Bailey group. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. so that is totally. And, you know, and we work with families. We have a big thing on, you know, financial discrepancy. And, cool. stuff like that. and I guess fundraising yeah, yeah. too, and kind of circumvents yeah, yeah. a lot so, of that. Um, we work with families. There is a horse fee, but you know that we have scholarships available. Mm -hmm. cool. So like if that is a financial barrier for our family, we are able to. That's fulfill awesome. That. Yeah. yeah. We work so, really hard. Yeah. That, we yeah. work really, really hard on that. I love that. Um, as far as the veterans go, um, it's the same kind of situation. If you get your coverage through the VA, you know, we do take the VA. Um, but if you don't, you know, we that's where the Hometown Heroes Ride really helps us out because they provided so a big mm -hmm. grant and with scholarships and we can provide scholarships for you to be involved. So uh, we never want to turn away somebody from getting horses involved in their care uh, based on their ability to pay. So whatever it is, you know, talk to us and we will try to make it work. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where can people contact you? Where can people ask questions and get yeah. a great tour yeah. schedule? Yeah. So they can always call at 904-315-8525. Um, they can reach out to me directly at katiehorseplay at gmail.com or visit our website, horseplaytherapy.org. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that was so special. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for showing up so and showing much. out. That was I so special. It. I just think horseplay is such a unique opportunity for people to experience their lives and living it the best way that they know how. And I yeah. think that you guys get that opportunity out thank there. You. So amazing. Thank you so much, Davey. And thank so you, cool. For yeah. All you do. Yeah. I My mean, pleasure. your horse journey. I mean, seriously, I know you as like the equestrian, you know, go to <laughs> for real queen. estate. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, your journey has been pretty impressive. Uh, how the horses have played with even with you professionally. I mean, it really is a huge part of my life. They always have been. So everything revolves around them. You have to have the property to have the horse, you know, mm -hmm. it's like your dog, except for on a larger scale. God bless. So you <laughs> got to have a farm sitter to go out of town. You have to have the vehicle for the trailer. Right, right, it's, right. There's so much wrapped up in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I love it. I, I hustle love for the horse, I guess. My favorite part about this <laughs> interview is watching both of you just light up and talk about this incredible, incredible therapy service. So, yeah, hats off to everybody over at Horseplay incredible team and all of our volunteers that yes. Is yes. Too. I want to shout out to our volunteers love they are that. amazing love yeah. that I want to meet every single one of them that's awesome oh, I'll arrange it we, this room cannot fit all the oh that's awesome they are all amazing yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what else is awesome is Old Town Trolley. And guess what? Katie and Amanda, I got something to tell you guys. This is your moment. If you're looking for an unforgettable weekend, they just released some tickets for the Sing Out Loud Festival, but Ooh. for locals at a discount, baby. We yeah, know we right. love to save some money. So, uh, of, of course, the General Admission Plus has been officially sold out, but Old Town Trolley bought up a bunch of limited number uh, tickets just for everybody in St. John's County exclusively through this offer. So, Join them September 21st and 22nd in historic downtown St. Augustine at the Live Wildly Showcase featuring incredible performances by Eric Church and Noah Khan. But here's the best part. You can snag these tickets below face value, saving up to 118 bucks. Nice. That's amazing. Nice. Not only that, you guys, you can take all of the seven top St. Augustine attractions absolutely free downtown St. Augustine. So explore the ancient city of Old Town Trolley mm -hmm. Tours, visit the old jail, experience the oldest store museum. You can also go to Potter's Wax Museum and and discover St. Augustine's History Museum, Fountain of Youth, and dive into the Pirate and Treasure Museum. We love them over there, too. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for the most of your weekend with your family, this is the city experience not to miss. Go to the Welcome Center. 
purchase those tickets. But that's just for locals. So make sure you bring your ID too. Old Town Drive. So drawing. awesome. And I feel like so many times we take that for granted. We live here in yep. the nation's oldest city. And I always intend, I'm going to go and do this, but this really sets it up. And it's like, why not take yeah. advantage of this? this is and I like that Old Town Trolley saw that uh, locals really needed a, like a price break. They needed right. a little mm -hmm. something to be able to get in there. And I think this is wonderful to celebrate our local team. And we had this incredible festival happening. And I love the sing out loud. It's just, it's all, it's always amazing. Absolutely. Also amazing is All American Air. Are you looking for top-notch service for a company that you can trust? Well, for 45 years, All American Air has been the go-to home service experts in St. Augustine, St. John's, Flagler, Duval, and Putnam counties. Whether you need warranty or non-warranty service work on any make and model, they have preventative maintenance agreements, new construction installations, and cutting-edge systems they've got you covered. From the Lennox system to the ultra-smart eye comfort thermostat, All American Air have been the newest innovations to keep you comfortable year-round give them a call 904-461-0070 oh have you guys been to bin 39 oh this is my wine time place i love it it's uh tucked away in the little courtyard of the saint george inn downtown right by the city gates it's a dreamy space of courtyard charm where magic is routine out there wine galore 85 gems to explore from small to big to the extraordinary kind they have 90 points or above that's legendary score bin 39's boutique wines prices are no bore open daily from 8 to 8 perfect for gatherings or post work fate they've got live music from thursday to sunday and a lively spree from one to seven on the patio feel the glee check them out at bin 39 or give katie a call 904-827-5740 and you say i'll have what irving's having uh, I know if you don't you know what you're so yeah. great with all of these <laughs> I, in your free time, you're probably over there writing Hallmark cards. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. You know me. Katie knows have me. You really seen yeah. his penmanship? No. You, oh, you have a card goodness. in your little bag. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, Jenna came on the show because I, I do. I handwrite for some of my clients that, um, like in, you know, the jewelry industry and I'll do the yeah. thank you cards for them. She's like, oh, that sounds great for real estate. I'm like, no more. <laughs> you're hired. Yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so much fun. But uh, now we get into a part that's not mm. as much fun. We have Pete's horrible horoscopes. Oh, uh, we got Aquarius. Oh, no, excuse me. We got Aries, Taurus, and Gemini on deck today. Aries, you're going to take a tackle on every challenge, and you're going to have to do it head on this week. Mm. Unfortunately, that includes trying to fix your microwave with a hammer. <laughs> It's a good time to remind yourself that not everything needs brute force or a trip to the ER. Mm. So oh, maybe ease on, get a horse therapy, right? This could be a good moment to meet yeah, a horse. Sure. Calm down. Taurus, oh, we know the bull. Taurus, your stubbornness will shine bright this week as you refuse to ask for directions, even when you're obviously lost. But hey, at least you'll discover a new favorite gas station on your three-hour detour. You'll oh. call it an adventure. Everyone else will call it frustrating. Rick, not good, brother. Thank you. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> and you travel a lot, sir. So I'm I think. <laughs> Gemini, this week your spirit personality will make social situations extra interesting. One minute you're the life of the party and the next minute you're Googling on how to fake your own disappearance. Good luck to anyone trying to keep up with your latest mood swings. Ooh. Oh gosh, I need to go through my customer list this week and see who I'm meeting with. Right, <laughs> exactly. You and gotta watch take... out for my microwaves and all of my listings. Exactly. <laughs> no the hammers. stars don't lie, I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. <laughs> <Stars don't lie. laughs> Hey, I got something cool coming up with the COA. Uh, uh, scams and fraud protection. This is very important with mm -hmm. the senior community. Absolutely. Presented by St. John's County Sheriff's Office. This is happening Wednesday at the River House, September 11th from 10 to 11 a.m. Oh, excuse me, not the River House. This is at the center at UF Health Nocatee. Yeah, don't go to the River House and you have to be in Nocatee. That's not a good one, Hartzell. Sorry. Yeah. That's that three hour detour he <laughs> yeah. was talking about. Exactly. He's just making it come <laughs> true. <laughs> But this is all so good. So, yeah, so if you're afraid of scams or what links mm -hmm. are, what are safe and what not to do, this is a wonderful presentation by St. John's County Sheriff's Office to get everybody up to speed. Uh, this, again, is happening Wednesday, September 11th from 10 to 11 a.m. at COA Center at UF Health Nocatee. I just had a customer yesterday who had a scam happen to them, and they weren't they were not elderly, but... Oh, somebody spoofed their credit union's phone number Whoa. and contacted them and pretended to be the credit union. <gasps> and they ended up 
losing a couple thousand dollars, but they were able to recapture it. After oh my with goodness. Their That's crazy. Exactly. They spoofed. Buddy. Say it again. I said, I'm sorry. The same exact thing happened to my buddy. Yeah. Really? That's so yeah. crazy. The credit union calls you. The ID says it's them and they kind of right. hoax you into giving them the information they need. Yeah. We got to be careful out there. That's yeah. why these presentations are so important. And, and God Valuable. bless. We have the greatest sheriff's office in the history of the Amen. world. Love them over there. And you're also going to love our mothered stewards. They're doing a very, very cool cornhole tournament. Uh, so save the date, October 5th at 5.30 p.m. We love them out there because they're always doing some great beach uh, uh, cleanup projects. Mm -hmm. St. Augustine Beach, beach Pavilion is where this tournament's going to be. There'll be cash prize. It's 40 bucks a team. So check out our mothersstewards.org. Cornhole is so fun for all age groups. Oh, too. my goodness. It, yeah. And it's such a rally. It's like, you know, you don't have to be great and you don't have to, you yeah. know, yeah, I'm horrible. Like I, 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 my beanbag goes across the way <laughs> every <laughs> single time. Yeah. Way too much. And don't even ask me to go to Pup Pup Golf because that's a whole nother story. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> but you can ask me on what the greatest dentist service is. And that's at Magnolia Family Dentistry. They're redefining what it means to visit the dentist in St. Augustine and St. John's County. Led by the dynamic, bright and lovely Dr. Rodriguez. Magnolia Family Dentistry isn't just about clean teeth. It's about clean and extraordinary experience. From the moment you step through their doors, you'll be welcomed to the state-of-the-art practice that prioritizes your comfort and well-being. Their commitment to excellence shines through every aspect of their care. Check them out. We love them over there at Whitehall Drive, 904-824-0990. And I'm going to say go Jackets because they're a big supporter of the Jackets football team. Hey, Davey. Yes, ma'am. What kind of teeth can you buy for a dollar? Oh, what kind of teeth? Buck teeth. Hey, I love it all. Oh, that's a great dad joke. Troy would love that one. We're going to have to remember that one. And I like it. That was good. That was a good one. That was a solid one. <laughs> Hey, you know what else is solid? Say no more. Let's go to Shayla Moore. Have you guys mm -hmm. been there yet? No, Let me tell you all about it. Step beyond the velvet rope into the heart of plush romance at Shayla Moore. St. Augustine's premier jazz venue, tapas lounge, and special events space. Treat yourself, and I am going to say this again, treat yourself to an unforgettable evening with Chef Ellie Rose's artisanal tapas that'll dazzle your taste buds. We also have Chef Austin's Crafts' fresh, vibrant, exclusive sushi experiences to elevate your palate. Sip on fabulous drinks with live jazz, fills the air, creating the perfect date night ambiance. We don't have special date night spots. This is it. This is all for us out there. All us romantics, I should say. Do you hear that, Ernie Edwards? Yeah. You need to go. <laughs> Shout Let's out to my husband. Woo! That'll be fantastic. Oh, you will love it. It's so fun. It is a really special spot. So they also specialize in private dining. So if you have rehearsal dinners or baby showers or luncheons, they also have great parties and more that you can reserve up to 20 to 150 guests. That's amazing. Um, inquire how to reserve a date for the holidays. You mentioned the 904 now. You're going to save 200 bucks. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. So special. Um, of course, they are located in St. Augustine's Uptown Scene at 45 San Marco. Uh, uh, they are open from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. during the week. Give them a call. Find out some more. Reserve your time. 904-481-8117. Ha! Huh. And of course, we would be remiss if we did not bring up our great friends at Panache. Mm -hmm. Every guest, every time since 1987, Panache opened its doors to be a cut above the rest. Their team at Panache is geared to the, from scalp to soul and bring the joy to the world one service at a time. They're proud to align with the Veda's mission of ethical and sustainable business practices and focused on making your day and continually raising the bar by aligning with Aveda. Go to Get Panache and get on their books, babe, and get with it, boo. That was a little messy, but we'll be okay for tomorrow because she's coming in the studio. I see you, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish out the day here with wild pics of uh, animals being their hilarious selves. So here's this first one, this mm. cat on this waiting room here. What is going on? I have to keep on? my caption to myself on that one. There's so many inappropriate things happening here. You need to <laughs> shut the bathroom door, right? Yeah, there's, there's no travel time there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's so sweet. Look at this one. This dog is patiently waiting for his toys that oh. were just being cleaned. Look how sweet. Or they're the babies and he's like contemplating how he can get them down before mom takes them back inside. I that would be know. my children. My yeah. children would climb that pole like they're uh -huh. working in Ooh. Daytona. Yes, absolutely. God bless. God bless them. Next what up. What kind of dog you have? Yeah, right. 
uh, this next one, these are the kind of dogs I have. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> There's my, uh-huh. yep, that's it. That's Just dog. walking their dogs by themselves. Next up, look at this snoozer in, the, in this fish tank. Oh my this gosh, cat is just obviously sleeping there's away. water in there. <laughs> my coffin looks like this, It's mommy. a cat nap. Yeah, definitely. Next up, please never let me go. Oh, raccoon Aww. holding a hand. I don't know how sanitary that is. Make sure we're washing after that. Next up, taste the rainbow. <laughs> Dog is funny. <laughs> I love it. And next up, where's the Florida life? This is swamp life. Oh, gosh. Just making Look itself. at that mattress. Let's stop for a second here. Yeah. Who had that in their house? Can you imagine? That is so inappropriate. Inappropriate. Horrible. We need a fundraiser to get these people a new mattress. Right. God bless. <laughs> yes. Go fund me. Don't you have one of these nonprofits, David? <laughs> right. Is there a mattress.org? Oh, gosh. Next up here, this guy is the new 904 Now Traffic Report host. This is wow. uh, Rick's buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And his jaw looks like it's dislocated. Yes. Here, so I don't know. And our last one here is locked in for the day. So puppers are just making sure mommy is uh, working home, working from home today, apparently. <laughs> All right, Amanda, thank you so much for showing up and showing out. Thank you, Katie and Horseplay. Thanks for Rick oh. for hitting all the buttons. That was so much fun. Thank it you. It was so much fun. Anytime. <laughs> this is so great. We love you, babes. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, boo.